If you guys have consistently been watching my channel over the past two months, you've probably noticed that I've gotten a little bit thicker. And I like to think it's not because of all the junk food I've been eating recently. It's probably because I've been busy testing these, tick pods, or referred by some as thick pods. What is up guys, this is RJ here from RJ Tech, and this is a review that you guys have all been asking for. This is the tick pods free review after six months of usage. Mob Boy is the company behind the production of the Tick Pods Free. If you guys have never heard of Mob Boy, that's okay. But you probably have heard of their famous smartwatch, the Tick Watch. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Tick Watch, I'll leave an Amazon link down below, along with an Amazon link for picking up Tick Pods in every single color that is available. So if you do plan on getting yourself a pair of Tick Pods, make sure you hit up the Amazon link down below. Referencing the Tick Pods back to Tick Pods, these earbuds are actually a lot thicker than Apple's AirPods. Even the carrying case is a lot thicker, and the earbuds are longer and wider than Apple AirPods. But don't let this be a factor that scares you away from the product itself. For a company that isn't known for making headphones, this is a valiant first attempt. Let's get the most important factor out of the way first, the price. The TickPods retail for $193.99 Canadian. That's $25 cheaper than the Apple AirPods. And for $25, you get a lot of essential features that are missing on the AirPods. Essential features such as IPX5 water resistant, intuitive touch controls built right into the earbuds, and fast charging. All features that I wish were on the Apple AirPods. But the question still remains, are the TickPods actually better than the Apple AirPods? Besides price, connectivity, battery life, sound quality, and comfort all play an essential role when it comes to me choosing a pair of wireless earbuds. Unlike Apple's AirPods, the TickPods are meant for both iOS and Android. Connecting the TickPods to my iPhone was a breeze. Open up the carrying case, the earbuds will flash blue, go into Bluetooth settings on your device, and hit TickPods. That's it, you're not connected forever. With in-ear detection, the TickPods are now connected with your phone every time you take the earbuds out of the case and insert them into your ears. As I mentioned earlier, the TickPods are IPX5 water resistant. This means that you can get them a little wet and not worry about them. This is a huge plus for when you're working up a sweat at the gym or if you find yourself caught up in a rainy day. Having built-in intuitive touch controls on the earbuds themselves is quite handy. You can control your music without ever having to reach into your pocket for your phone. Double tap on the right earbuds to skip a track swipe up to increase volume, swipe down to decrease volume, and long press on the earbuds to bring up your respective assistant, whether it be Google Assistant, Alexa, Siri, or even Cortana. We can all agree that since the headphone jack is a dying breed, battery life now plays a vital role when it comes to choosing a pair of wireless earbuds, and the TickPods do not disappoint in the battery life department. The earbuds itself has four hours of battery life, plus an additional 14 hours of battery life considering the carrying case. Now that's a total of 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. Considering that the TickPods do come with fast charging, that's pretty impressive. During my testing, I use the TickPods every day, at the gym, on my commute to school, and even long walks in the neighborhood. Considering my everyday usage, I only had to charge the TickPods once a week, so battery life was as good as advertised. And after six months of usage, the battery doesn't seem to be showing any signs of degradation. With built-in fast charging, these earbuds go from zero to 100 real quick. I was able to top off my TickPods within 15 minutes. Fast charging is an essential feature, especially in the morning when I'm in a rush and I need to listen to music on my morning commutes. I just plug in my TickPods and start getting ready. And by the time I'm done, my TickPods are 100% and ready for the day. Comfort with the TickPods is something that I really struggle with. I use Apple AirPods on a regular basis and I never had an issue with fit or comfort, even over long periods of use. If you guys haven't noticed, I have really small ears, smaller ears than an average human being. So using the TickPods for an extended period of time hurt, and I mean really hurt. The TickPods stretched out my ear canals and I felt a throbbing pain for the rest of the day. But I had to do it for you guys, I had to do it for the review, and I had to stay committed to the channel. Mobvoi boasts on their website that the TickPods have an ergonomic design. This may be true for people that have normal sized ears, but for me it just wasn't cutting it. If Mobvoi would have included different sized earpieces inside the box instead of a one size fit all earpiece, then I feel like I would have had a much better experience comfort wise with the TickPods. And finally, everyone wants to know how a pair of truly wireless earbuds sound. And to be quite honest with you, the TickPods sound better than the Apple AirPods. Now before everyone throws a huge fit, let me explain. The TickPods get loud, and I mean really loud, without any leaks or sound distortion. And they also feature sound isolation, which is a huge missing feature in the Apple AirPods. I tested the TickPods in a subway, the gym, and even in a packed university hall. 
and I was able to tune out my surrounding environment and listen to my music with clarity. The Tick Pods also have good sounding bass for a pair of wireless earbuds. So if you like listening to your music with heavy bass, then consider getting yourself a pair of Tick Pods. The Tick Pods Free is an applaudable first attempt by a company that is not known for making headphones, let alone a pair of truly wireless earbuds. But they had the courage to try and even compete with Apple AirPods. And quite honestly, they almost nailed it on their first attempt. Looking ahead into the future with the Tick Pods too, I would like to see stronger magnets inside the carrying case. Yes, I know that sounds weird, but there's a certain satisfaction hearing the earbuds snap back into place with a louder sound. A stronger magnet inside the carrying case would go a long way in making the Tick Pods feel like a more premium product. Yes, I know it feels like I'm nitpicking here, but this is what Apple really looks into. Small little details, which is what sets apart Apple as a company and the AirPods from the rest of the competition. Little details do matter. The carrying case itself also feels a little bit cheap in the hands. They feel a little bit too fragile and a little bit too plasticky if you will. I feel like if I were to drop the Tick Pods while in the case, the case would shatter into a million pieces. It just doesn't feel like a premium product that's worth paying a premium price for. The Tick Pods come in three different colors, red, navy blue, and white. I find the red Tick Pods a little bit too loud for me. If I were to buy them again, I would probably choose the navy blue Tick Pods. The Tick Pods still use a micro USB cable for charging. While the inclusion of fast charging is nice, I would really like to see them move towards USB-C in the Tick Pods too. For truly wireless earbuds that are cheaper than Apple AirPods and offer a lot more future than Apple AirPods, the Tick Pods are a pretty good choice. If you have bigger ears than me and you feel like comfort won't be an issue, then I definitely recommend Mob Voice Tick Pods Free. Great sound quality reproduction, comes in a variety of colors, excellent battery life, and offers tons of intuitive touch controls on the earbuds themselves. If you guys were on the verge of buying Tick Pods and you found that review useful, then leave a like below and consider subscribing to the channel. A lot more reviews, a lot more unboxings, and a lot more leaks and more videos are to come on this channel. So do subscribe, be a part of the journey. This is only the beginning. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below on what color Tick Pods would you get if you were to get Tick Pods, red, navy blue, or white. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to flex with your tech.